In today's video, we're going to be reviewing a client's ad account and showing you exactly how they went from 20k months to 80k months in just four months time. Not only that, but we're going to be breaking down their exact campaign structure with their Facebook ads and what changes we made each month leading up to this, how we tested new audiences, ads, and even how we scaled and optimized their campaign as a whole. So definitely make sure to watch this video all the way through so that way you can see exactly how you can scale and be able to decrease cost per purchase while increasing your return on ad spend overall. And just to break this down, our client was averaging about a 10 to 20K monthly revenue over the last year and wasn't really able to break out of that. So he joined our one-on-one -on -one mentorship so that way we can help him be able to scale. And so here's one of the very first months that he started with us in June. And this is from the 1st through the 25th. And his conversion rate on his Shopify store was about a 2.34%, which isn't necessarily bad. It could definitely be improved. He was doing average orders and his AOVs were around $75. And so once he started working with us, you could see that he started to scale up and start to see more orders. And then what began to happen is we started making optimizations. And from June 1st through August 14th, you can start to see the sales are really beginning to take off here, where he did about $82,000 in this time period. Not only that, but his actual store conversion rate is now at a 2.8% because we are optimizing the website as well. And then as we move forward in the timeline, June 11th through October 8th, you can see the trend line is really beginning to accelerate at a much faster pace. During this time period, 176,000 in sales and his conversion rate continued to increase as we optimize, getting it up to a 3.43%. So a lot of good things are definitely happening here and we're gonna be breaking down the full timeline of what actually happened and I'm gonna be going through each campaign directly with you. But before we do that, we need to understand what this looks like on an entire time scale from when they started with us to where they are now. And just to break this down, the top line is amount spent over this time period. And as you can see here, the top line is the amount spent and we've been scaling up pretty consistently over the last few months. But what is really important is this timeline down here. We have our cost per purchase. And right around this time, he really only had two to three ads and they were pretty fatigued. And sometimes they're getting as high as a cost per purchase of $200, which is extremely unprofitable. So we started working with optimizing his actual campaigns with him. We went over some new ads and advised him to launch some different variations, which I'll be showing you in this video. And anytime you launch new ads, it's normal to have high cost per purchase initially. But as they start to get more spend, then you can start to see better results. And then as time went on, we started to optimize budget and turn off underperforming ads, shifting budget to higher performing audiences in this range here. And so you can see the cost per purchase is starting to decrease as we make these changes. And because we're getting the cost per purchase down pretty significantly, we started to scale up ad spend where we saw a little bit of a spike, but followed by that, we saw a decrease. We launched more new ads based off our learnings. And then once we got the cost per purchase down to where we really liked it, we essentially allowed the algorithm to do the work for us. This means that we're, there was very little changes during this period. The only adjustments we were really making is just shifting budgets because now the algorithm has exited learning. It understands the audiences, the ads are converting. We have our top three to five winners. And during this period, you can see the cost per purchase continues to go down over time. And because of that, we started to scale up and his revenue started to explode. Then he hopped on a call with a Facebook rep and his cost per result went way up. And that's because Facebook doesn't necessarily always know what they're talking about. And definitely we needed to reverse some of those changes. So we did reverse those and his cost per purchase started to go back down. So this is really the timeline you can see from the very beginning. If we look at this report, we can see his cost per result is very high. And as we continue to get that cost per result down, we were even scaling. Most people struggle with scaling their ad spend while being able to decrease their cost per purchase and increasing their ROAS. So even though we were getting the cost per result down, we were still able to increase his budget pretty significantly over time to where he was able to go from 20 to 40K to 60K to 80K and is now on pace for 100K months. So now that we've looked at a little bit of the timeline and you got a picture of where things were and where they're going, we can start to dive in deeper and analyze each month of this Facebook ad account. So here we are in June, about a 1.53x ROAS. And you've got to keep in mind, Facebook's numbers aren't entirely accurate. We definitely use Surge for ad tracking to improve the actual return on ad spend and know what we're truly tracking. So these numbers are a bit off, but they're going to do fine just for the explanation of this video. He initially had about three campaigns and was spending about $6,000 to $7,000 a month. And his cost per purchase was relatively high. Even though his average order value was $75, this is still pretty high cost per purchase. 
And when we were looking at his campaigns, he had a few different audiences here. And really two of them were the bulk majority of the actual orders here. About 60 purchases, 65 purchases on the other one. And when we look at what was inside of these, he really only had one or two ad creatives and they had been fatigued over the last few months. And the videos were performing well, but they had definitely stopped working over time. And it was a backstory about how he started the brand and how the product has helped him improve his life. And so what we did was we recommended initially that he should incorporate images because he was only using videos at the time. So we recommended him to launch some images that were about comparing your product against your competitor's product. And then we also advised him to add a video doing the same thing, comparing his product against the competitor's product. After we launched that creative, we started seeing a little bit higher return in ad spend, which is the actual goal we wanted to achieve during this first month, was introducing a few new creatives that would definitely improve his overall return in ad spend. So if you only have one or two creatives and they're starting to fatigue, you definitely wanna introduce a mixture of different ads. That includes videos, images, carousels, when we look at one of these other campaigns, as you can see, dropped in the comparison ad and a few more different variations down here for new ad types. Then he had a retargeting campaign and he was running a purchase customer list. He didn't previously have a retargeting campaign, so we highly recommended he added a purchase list and engaged customers from his actual Instagram engagers. This was very recently launched during that month and started to get some orders, but wasn't necessarily at the numbers that we wanted them to be at. And then when we look at the ads, same story, was using just a few video ads and we recommended him to add images. So let's go ahead and jump into the following month in July. When we look at July's numbers, he went from a 1.5 to a 1.9, which was a pretty sizable increase because even though he increased his ROAS by about a 0.5, he also doubled his spin, which is very rare for a lot of people to do. And when we look at the numbers now, when we go back in here, what specifically changed was we had him add in an additional audience here, which started averaging a 5X ROAS. And he was getting about a 3X on these. And when we look at this campaign, we can start to see some of the new creatives he added. He added a, another video, added some more variations, and he started seeing a much higher return in ad spend. Same thing here, more creative testing was the key to success in the following month. So things were starting to pick up definitely here and budgets were being increased. We'll also introduce some lookalike campaigns into their initial testing phase. And this is where we started introducing images that talked about the benefits of the product. We introduced additional images that broke down different callouts around what their product is and the purpose it has. And this is where the us first them started getting some orders. Then the following month, scaled up some more, went up by another $6,000. And you can see his cost per purchase, $50, $38, $33. So we were decreasing his cost per purchase and keep in mind his AOVs are around $75. So he's starting to be able to get a lot more profit out of this and was much more scalable by this point. His lookalikes were beginning to get more consistent as we let them play on. And now you can see there's a lot more creatives that were in testing and being able to identify what was working and what was not during this period. And then when we look at his scale campaign, the numbers were starting to get more dialed in. They were all spending a few thousand dollars each and the cost per purchase was pretty dialed in at this point. We pretty much knew what creatives were working and what creatives were not. So when we go to September, now he's at a 2.35x ROAS, $19,000 in spend. And this is where he was pacing towards those 80K, 90K months in just a few months time. Every single month for him was a record month when working with us. And now we can see a few more audiences and his cost per purchase has gotten down to $29 and it's consistently been going down over time. And that is because of lots of different ad creative testing. Now there's up to 25 different ads. We were always launching new ads every couple of weeks because we wanted to continue to get the cost per purchase down to find out what was working best. And as we're spending more budget, we wanna reach new people. So different ads appeal to different people. So these campaigns were averaging a 2X ROAS and then we narrowed down to three to five. Eventually you want to get down to three to five ads during your testing phase. That way you can scale up. His retargeting was performing very well at this point, a 2.5 X. As you can see, a lot of people might cut their campaigns too early and not realize that these campaigns will improve over time. And because we were spending more, the retargeting audiences were filling up much quicker and the ROAS numbers were climbing month over month. So really the key here is new creatives coming in on a regular basis, moving budget towards the highest performing audiences, turning off ads that were below break even and then being able to allow the algorithm to optimize over a one to two week period before continuing to scale. You would see there would be periods where 
we would scale up, leave it alone, scale up, leave it alone, and then scale up. And that was because we'd get the cost per purchase where we wanted, and we'd let it to taper off by the algorithm, scale up again. And because numbers were looking so good, he went from doing $400 daily in sales all the way to averaging 3K days on a regular basis. And this really comes down to being able to identify what audiences work and being able to understand that higher quality audiences, higher quality creatives are gonna help improve your conversion rate and then being able to tweak these things over a period of time can really help you to scale up sales. So this is really the bulk of the campaign and it does take a lot of changes to make these adjustments, but as you start to focus in on what's working best, you can start to decrease your cost for purchase, increase your ROAS and scale up pretty effectively. And if you're interested in joining our one-on-one -on -one ads mastery mentorship, definitely make sure to DM me the word mentor at Real Chase Chapel, or click the link below to book a call with our team. In our one-on-one -on -one ads mastery mentorship, we literally walk you through A to Z, how to structure your Facebook ads, TikTok ads, organic viral marketing strategies, and clients just like this one that you saw today is able to scale from 20 to 80K months and be able to have back-to-back -back monthly records every single month, just by making these adjustments and changes. It really only takes a few hours a week to do these things. So if you've been struggling to hit numbers like this, then definitely make sure to reach out so that way we can help. Once again, it's your favorite digital marketer here, Chase Chapel. Cheers and bye all.